You are listening to KLRN Radio, where liberty and reason still reign. KLRN Radio has advertising rates available. We have rates to fit almost any budget. Contact us at advertising at klrnradio.com. I am Conor McGregor, multiple weight MMA champion. I'm a fighter and I've been through many battles in the octagon. Many consider my fights in the octagon heroic, but the real life heroes are those men and women who fight to protect us every day. The real life fighters, the real life heroes, are the firefighters and police officers. These first responders are true heroes because these brave men and women put themselves in the line of danger every single day protecting us all. The Tunnel to Towers Foundation ensures that first responders from fire, EMS and police departments who are killed in the line of duty with young children have a home without the burden of a mortgage. They are my heroes. They need our help today. I'd like to ask you to join me in donating $11 a month to support their efforts. Your $11 a month honours and supports our first responders. Please call now at 1-844-BRAVEST or visit tunneltotowers.org. Hi, I'm Mike, founder of DollarShaveClub.com. What is DollarShaveClub.com? Well, for a dollar a month, we send high-quality razors right to your door. Yeah, a dollar. Are the blades any good? No. Our blades are f***ing great. Each razor has stainless steel blades, an aloe vera lubricating strip, and a pivot head. It's so gentle a toddler could use it. And do you like spending $20 a month on brand name razors? 19 go to Roger Federer. I'm good at tennis. And do you think your razor needs a vibrating handle, a flashlight, a back scratcher, and 10 blades? Your handsome ass grandfather had one blade and polio. Looking good, pop up! Stop paying for shave tech you don't need. And stop forgetting to buy your blades every month. Alejandro and I are going to ship them right to you. We're not just selling razors. We're also making new jobs. Alejandro, what were you doing last month? Not working. What are you doing now? Working. I'm no Vanderbilt, but this train makes hay. So stop forgetting to buy your blades every month and start deciding where you're going to stack all those dollar bills I'm saving you. We are DollarShaveClub.com, and the party is on. Hi everyone, this is JJ, the co-founder of Good Pods. If you haven't heard of it yet, Good Pods is like Goodreads or Instagram, but for podcasts. It's new, it's social, it's different, and it's growing really fast. There are more than 2 million podcasts, and we know that it is impossible to figure out what to listen to. On Good Pods, you follow your friends and podcasters to see what they like. That is the number one way to discover new shows and episodes. You can find Good Pods on the web or download the app. Happy listening! The following program contains coarse language and adult themes. Listener discretion is advised. Welcome to FUBAR, One Nation Under Foo. I am your host, the dazzling, the dynamic, the dreamy, the foo. And we are coming to you live on this debonair Wednesday night from FUBAR Studios right here on KLRN Radio. And with me, as always, is the only Amish guy whose former landlord uses him as a reference, Ordy Packard. Ordy, how are you? I, I have socks on my teeth. Mm. On your teeth? Yes, yes. Why, because... why do you... Okay, why? Well, okay, for, for those of you who've been living under a rock and didn't see all the tweets and posts and everything on Monday, <laughs> um, I I had an appendectomy on Monday. 
And um, so I'm doing this show on uh, Oxy and Muscle Relaxers and feeling fantastic. Awesome. So how are you doing? What's going on with you? What's new in Did you world? pick my birthday to have surgery on so I wouldn't forget? I, no, I actually did it so that way I wouldn't have to get you a present. <laughs> you're so thoughtful. Listen to you. No, I'm I, good. You know I am. I'm great. Yes, I, I'm thoughtful. the brother that cares, damn it. Yes, you are. You're something, damn it. That's indeed you are. Now, really, how something. are you? How are you feeling? No, I am feeling okay. Well, they say day three is probably the worst, and I can understand that. I'm um definitely feel gut punched, but um yeah, feeling pretty good. You know, like it's, I said, oxy no, and, pain and muscle yeah. relaxers. Sounds like you're feeling good on lots of fun things. Yeah, you find oh, out yeah. how much of your body is connected when they operate on your torso. Oh. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Fun, fun. You know, we're getting so old. We could talk about surgeries we've had now. Oh, I had yeah, mine you, a long time ago. Well, you know, when I had my knee replaced. <laughs> like I had my gallbladder out like a bazillion years ago. So you know, what are you gonna do? But it sucks, and you laugh. So we probably. But you're on pain meds, so even if you laugh, it may not hurt, right? Uh, no, it still hurts. Does it still hurt? Well, good. Then we'll oh, definitely yeah. try and make you laugh. No, I'm just kidding. I'm glad you're okay. I know I scared all of Twitter when I asked them to, to pray or dance or sacrifice chickens for you. So, but I'm like, that's it. And I did like the videos of the tantric rituals we all performed. Thank you very yeah, much. That, see, was, see, that was fantastic. People, people are givers, man. They worry about you. They'll sacrifice really a chicken. They'll do some dancing. You know, it's good stuff. You yeah, you love. know, is you know, Del- Delaney sacrificed a Mormon chicken for me, and a Mormon chicken. Well, yeah, geez, that is know. going above and beyond. I just said a little, mm-hmm. you know, prayer for you. I, I, yeah. I, sorry, I usually try not to interject when I'm producing, but I only I have one question: How the hell did he get the chicken into the magic underwear? Um, you know what? Those are some mysteries I just don't. Yeah, there are some things yeah. the Amish don't talk about. You know, it's the the one thing that kind of brings me down is back in the old days, the early days of Twitter. Mm-hmm. I would have been sent in a mountain. I would have been sent a mountain of uh, get well lewds, and those just don't happen anymore. <laughs> no, you just got a bunch of dank memes. But you know what? I do. I do enjoy the dank memes. I stole quite a few of them too. Oh, did oh, that's good. I'm glad. Well, I'm glad you're yeah. doing better and you're able to do the show since we won't do this again for like a month. Yeah. You, well, yeah, that's true. But you know, know. what? Tomorrow I'll... I might actually be feeling good enough to do some Dune posting. So. Oh well, good because people aren't Dune posting without you. Exactly. Well, you know, I need to explain. <laughs> yeah, you know, what are you going to do? There's only so many yeah. of you nerds out there. What are you going to do? Well, all three of them enjoy when Vince and Charles and I do our... <laughs> All three of them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's, wow. it's my fault. We're going to be off for the air for a month because I head out to Wyoming next week for my father in law's memorial. So, um, trying to figure out what I'm going to say because they asked me to to speak when I'm out there and um, so I've been trying to figure out how to talk about things and it's not going as well as I'd like it to. It seems like I have a lot to say about things that don't matter but when things matter I'm not so good at it so that'll be fun but you know we're going out to Wyoming to see family so I'm looking forward to that I just wish I was better prepared about what to talk about next week so that'll be interesting. That's weird because usually you're so loquacious. I know, right? Like, I don't have a problem saying whatever I want to say, but I'm really struggling because, you know, it's Rod the legend, and I don't want to let him down, so I'm trying to figure out what I should do, and I'm not exactly known for being, um, what's the word? Uh, there's a word, I guess, polite, so it's going to be really hard Reserve. to do this. Reserve. Solemn. Solemn. I, I suck at all of that, so... I'm trying really hard, and of course, I'm very flattered they've asked me to speak when I'm there because I love this man, so it's going to be interesting. Um, So that's what I've been working on besides dealing with work and Twitter and stupid people all day. So today has been fun, but I did get my dishwasher fixed, so there's that. Yes, we're old when we talk about surgeries and dishwashers. (laughs) You know, this is why people turn in. They're like, you know what? We don't get enough. This is the hard-hitting news people want to (laughs) know. We don't get enough talk about surgeries, memorials, and dishwashers. (laughs) And dune posting. (laughs) And dune posting. But no, seriously, it's been like months since I got my dishwasher to run because I thought it was this piece and GE sucks and GE told me only GE techs would work on it. Then we found a guy who said they're full of shit and he fixed it for like $27. Yes. Yeah, GE sucks. I'm not happy with them. But at least it's working and it's an amazing thing and I've done three loads of dishes today just because I can. You know, when my washer went out a couple months ago, the price I was quoted to repair it, Mm -hmm. I went out and bought a new one for $50 more. 
Well, there you go. I mean, that's the whole point. I had to fix my dryer, too, a couple weeks ago. See, this is, again, old people stuff. Yeah. Quick, make a dirty yeah. joke so they don't get bored. Well, you know, okay, so one of the things we didn't bring back last time that, uh, you know, we've got it with the way we did the last show, we, we haven't quite settled down if it's the uh, tits, ass, or vag oh. cycle. What are we in? God, I don't even remember what the last show was. Because, I mean, last week we didn't choose boobs, butts, or vag. So I don't. Why don't you pick, pick one and we'll just start with that. Why don't you pick since, you know, you just had surgery and stuff. Well, you know, since I did get blocked by the vagina museum today. Did you really? We'll go with that. I okay, did. So it's a bad show. I had no idea. How did you get blocked by the vagina museum? Well, okay. So they came out in support of the, uh, the cornstarch dusting of Stonehenge today. Oh, the oranging. Yes. So, yeah. So, uh, I had made a comment about that and no, um, not even really sure what, the, I know it's strange, right? <laughs> you never, and, you're, so, you're so shy and you know, quiet. And um, mm. I found myself blocked <laughs> with another one of your twitchy editors too. So it was kind of like a whole round Robin thing where they just went through and blocked everyone who. What a bunch of babies. I can't remember if the vagina museum has me blocked because they did a whole thing about how men could have vaginas or something maybe a year ago. Is this a vagina museum in like UK? Yeah, or yeah, Holland or something like that. Yeah, European vagina thing. Yeah, they block yeah. easy. You know, they really, they well, really wanted to say men have vaginas, and I was like, no. I mean, how can you be a vagina museum and not know that only women have vaginas? You know. Well, if you remember, several years back, they had had a live vagina exhibit that I yeah. had made a comment about, and then that turned into forty-eight hours of screeching harpies blaming me specifically for the existence of vaginoplasty. <laughs> well you know it probably is your fault for some reason well, somehow well yeah i said yeah it's me and it, the the photo of the curator of the museum had a wall of dildos behind her i remember my, that yeah, it's entirely me not some of those toys back there that look like they rearrange furniture yes, i remember i yeah i forgot you know it's those moments in time that like you know with the whole there's certain groups of Twitter I won't talk about that once you get engaged in that group, you can't really get out of it. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. But interesting. Yeah. I had forgotten about that. I get, is, is that the same group? Was this a different account that got in trouble then with them? Uh, no, that different? was a different account back then. That was back right. when I was the 65 10 tank. Ah, cool. So, but is it the same yeah. museum? Same museum, though. Uh, okay. So, yeah, they're the, they're the men can have vaginas museum. Interesting. Yeah. Well, I didn't get yeah. blocked by. I got you know that was a long time ago. Well, I feel like bummed out. I didn't get blocked. I got attacked by a bunch of insane people today, but I didn't get blocked by the museum of yeah. We, you you know I peeled some of those off you, and those were uh. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's I got no um. It's not been. It's well you know it's been one of those days where you have to remember why you do these things so you don't just flip out and say something really stupid and get in trouble. <laughs> oh my God. You know, and I get it. You know, people are tense and everybody's kind of pissed off about this or that. And there's all this infighting and, you know, it's just, yeah, it, it, it's one of those, you know, we have Virginia five district five and there's John McGuire who was Trump endorsed and there's Bob good, who was the incumbent. And a lot of people like Bob good and a lot of people like John McGuire so much. In fact, that it's so close. They haven't called it yet. Um, and I made everybody angry by pointing out that unless you live in Virginia, fuck off because it's none of your business. Well, they didn't like this. It pissed a lot of DeSantis people off, which just seems strange because, you know, I, it feels like people are mad about it because of somebody who has nothing to do with it. And I get it. They hate Trump and whatever. And Trump endorsed McGuire and they believe Trump stuck his nose in and whatever. I don't really care. What bothered me was even if McGuire was winning or was losing and good had won, I just said the same thing. You know, don't – these people were saying horrible shit about his, his supporters, John McGuire's supporters, threatening Trump. He'd rue the day and all this dumb shit that they're going to mm -hmm. try and keep him from – oh, just dumb. You know, we'll get you in November. You'll see how this is. And it was just – come on. But leave these people in this rural red <laughs> district alone and, and, and focus on your own shit. Well, they got really mad at me. And I tried to point out, hey, even if good had won, I'd be telling the McGuire people the same thing. Didn't matter. Right. Oh, my God, all day with this nonsense. And then, of course, they start going after Twitchy and, you know, and 
it's one of those things where I don't really care if you come at me, but Twitchy is one of those things. You'll see how this is, and it was just. Whoa! Did you hear me talk to myself just now? Yeah, it was. Yeah, me. that was weird. I was trying to do yeah. something and I did something wrong. It's my fault. My I was like, oh my god! Please tell me you heard that. Um, but yeah, so it just it got a little. Yeah. Anyway, it was a lot of fun. Thank you for peeling them off. But it it is not one of those things that makes me feel good about what's going on, um, especially as we get closer to November, because it's it's obvious that we are incapable of having discussions and not making things personal and holding vendettas and it was really bizarre and what was really sad where some of these people are people that i would have jumped in front of when the trump crazies were out and said hey stop don't be mean to them and the trump crazies got mad at me and you know these same people are acting like trump crazies so i'm just like i'm gonna put all you crazies on one island and knock yourselves out (laughs) let the rest of us move on with our lives let them fight let them fight you guys hate each other we have a country we're worried about. You guys fight it out, and we're going to work over here. You know, we'll put Laura Loomer on the island as well, because she just makes things worse. She can be the fucking queen of it for all we fucking that, care. It's awesome. Just go fight amongst yourselves. The rest of us. Yeah, if we're going to put Loomer on an island, let's just send her to fucking Gitmo or something, and <laughs> I just whatever. let them all fight. I'm just done. It's like trying to remind people we have something bigger than you know this fight. We have to look at the general. The primary is basically over. It's done. We're going to fight. We have players we're fighting with let's get to it and yeah it's one of those strange things where i'm like i'm never the one of common sense and i have the common sense so it's like i don't know how to deal with it i think i'm much more off more often like the one is causing trouble but yeah it was a lot of fun today See, this is where i'm it's quite liberating being me is because the only time i've ever really voted for for somebody was john mcafee Every vote I have cast <laughs> since then has been a vote against someone. But that is so un- I have no gods or kings. But that's the whole point. And I understand why some people are like, you know what? I'm tired of voting against the other time. I want to vote for someone. And I get that. But if we, no, I get that. Yeah. If we don't get rid of the bag of Botox and, and the Oval Office, we're really in trouble. And I don't know how to get that through to people. You know, um, I'm not saying that we have the best choices. What I am saying is the reality is if we don't, we're really in a world full of hurt and they, well, you know, this, this makes it the stage for better people down the road, but I'm afraid it doesn't because the stage goes away. And maybe I'm just cynical and I don't know, paranoid after all the time I've spent reading and covering this nonsense, but I feel like if we don't stop it now, we won't get to stop it. So, Yeah. No. Fun, fun times. And yeah. the, again, I'm I'm someone like you. I'm not voting necessarily for someone. Although I will tell you with all the crap I've seen them pulling with Donald Trump, there's part of me that wants to support him at this point. So that it's instead well, that was really, like with the view statement, you know, with uh yeah, Joy, yeah with Joy Bear and whatever. <laughs> um Yeah. Yeah, you know, just like, oh, you know, Trump's going to cancel the show and put us all in jail. It's like Ooh. Stop making him sound cooler than he actually is. Yeah, I can only get so they always much, do yeah. this, like they did with Mitch McConnell and yeah. you know cocaine Mitch and on his skull of thrones, his throne of skulls and yeah, I fuck off, it. fuck off. But yeah. that's how I mean, that's how it is. That's how everything is right now. And when you're surrounded by that constant just negativity and fighting and. Just, Man, give it a break. Love each other. And the fuck you. Okay, fine. Don't love each other. Just, yeah. just leave me alone. <laughs> right. You know, go uh, hate your, go go hate each other somewhere out of my feed. Go fight and hate each other and hate people and out. Yeah. I don't know. I, I know you're using me as the proxy because that's why it's like in the last forty eight hours I've been called a Trumper, a Democrat, and um <laughs> something else. And I'm just like, you know what, thank you. Because yeah. if you don't know what I actually am, all I am is um, you. you. I'm just I. I'm the straw man you have constructed to be mad about other things. It's bizarre, and I get it's that a really lot. Really easy for me to knock down. I'm I'm I make both camps angry all the time, and I just kind of whatever. And it's not the Biden and the Trump camp; it's the DeSantis and the Trump camp that I make mad all the mm-hmm. time now. <sighs> you know, I'm looking forward to a time when I'm just making the biden camp mad you know (laughs) can can we go back to that someone was talking to me earlier today um and it was in my feed and they're like do you remember the good days of twitter with tcot you know and how we all realized that the opposition was obama and obama really was one of 
I think, I think he was the first president to actually use social media when he had organizing for America. And there were all these crazy, right. you know, Democrat accounts for on Twitter trying to pull nonsense. And we all had each other's backs. We fought together and it was great. And we don't have that anymore. Now we have I little factions. And... <laughs> oh, there's a name I haven't heard in forever. I mean, he's you know not what? wrong, though. I'm just throwing I that mean, out there. There's a name I haven't heard in a long time. But a I gotta be honest. because I, I was... totally forgot about that fuckwit until like eight seconds ago. I didn't Because when you brought up Teacot, I was like, holy shit, that fucking guy. <laughs> but Teacot was great. Everybody, yeah. you could say... Obama is a big stinky butthole. And then, you know, you put Teacot and like everyone saw it and they're like, yeah, he is a giant stinky butthole. And everyone get excited yeah. about him being a giant stinky butthole. Now it's like, hey, I really hope we can unite and beat Biden. Well, fuck you. I'm not voting for Trump. He's as liberal as Biden and eat shit this. And I mean, oh, my God, it's just we're all over the place. And it's I don't know. Maybe it's good. Maybe we should all be independent thinkers and we shouldn't be working together. And fuck it. I just, you know, I don't know. You know, it's funny, as much as we work against each other, we all seem to, like, move to the same rhythms. <laughs> I think so. Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> you know, I don't know. It's just, and usually I'm, I know, and I hope I'm not being That last statement down. brought to you by Oxycontin. <laughs> <laughs> I almost cue the 70s poor music. I, I refrained, so you guys should be happy. <laughs> Oh, I feel like I'm being a total downer. I'm sorry. I just, it was hard. I usually kind of like let that stuff roll off my back, but today it didn't. I really, it really got on my nerves and I wanted to just like, what, what are you, what are you in this for? What are you trying to do? And what, what is the end result? And is it really worth it to, to screw around and fuck up and bring in this, you know, another four years of Biden? And what do you get out of that? And I don't know. It's like, I, I just couldn't get my head around what this was about and why they were so mad. And anyway, I guess yeah, I you know, go, go. go after Free, but don't go after Twitchy, you know? You know, yeah, they're really Twitchy's fucked blameless. that. Twitchy is a great site. They do wonderful things. I know I'm totally biased because, you know, I work there, but I'm telling you, it's like, you have a problem with me. That's, you know, get in line. Lots of people have a problem with me. It's kind of my thing. If you don't have a problem with Take me, number wrong with you. I'm number one. I mean, even you've had problems with me. Everybody can, I'm kind of problematic. I understand. But don't go after Twitchy. You're a fucking delight. I'm a fucking delight. Don't go after people who work hard to give you something else to read that's fun and is, is a different take on the news. And, you know, you're reading all this horrible stuff and everything's dark and we're talking about boners and things. I mean, it's just, don't be that way. If you want to fight with me, come on, but don't. Like, people were accused well, what, of stealing content today and told people to get it. Like, that's not you. Told, <laughs> see what you did there. Um, you know, they were telling writers to get a real job. And I'm like, Kit, what is wrong with you? They have a real job. That's another yeah. thing. It's like, we, we're not supposed to have an opinion because we get paid. And I just always point out, well, I'm good enough at what I do to get paid. I'm sorry you can't deal with that. But it, I'm not – my opinions are mine. It doesn't matter that I get paid. I get paid because I have good opinions. This was nuts. And then when after that, that's when I finally got pissed off. I was actually okay getting attacked because I'm used to it. But once they went after Twitchy, I was like, oh, no, I'm well, done. What gets me is after all this time, people still don't know what fucking Twitchy is. It's an aggregate site. They, they don't – I mean, yeah, you can say that the editor puts the context – you know, may adjust the context of the tweet, but not really. I mean, no. they're writing an article about the tweet, and yeah, they're injecting their opinion on the tweet, but the tweets and the replies are the tweets and the replies. There's no well, that dishonesty was what, there. It's, well, but here's what was said. Here was the reacts. They were accusing us of stealing people's content, is what this person said. That we were stealing and lifting content. That we are deliberately using people. That you and, curated off of Twitter. But, what we are really doing is bringing to light people on Twitter for people who are not. We have millions of readers, and most of them aren't on X. Most of them don't yeah. read. You know that that's Twitter. a completely Twitter. That's a completely separate world for them. And then you get people. Yeah, I joined Twitter after I read Twitchy because then they get well. Boy, this place is nuts. Let's go check it out. Well, yeah, because Twitter's Fight Club. But yeah, it really is. And we're giving you like an introduction to Fight Club, but you know, you shouldn't yeah. talk about it. But that's here's your, here's your primer on Fight Club. 
And I, I think I'm just really protective. Like I'm protective of KLRN as well. Not you necessarily, but you know, the station. Uh, very... Not chat, not KLRN, but you and know. chat sucks balls. But I mean, by the way, for those of you who are new, we are actually originally broadcast of KLRNradio.com. You can go to our chat room right now, <laughs> KLRNradio.com slash chat. This is new with us broadcasting on Twitter X. So yeah, Welcome. lucky you. You get to hear me rant and rave on my own site. Hey, let's listen to food. Just was talking about how funny our show is. A lot. Bitch, 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 bitch. I was like, okay, sorry. But, you know, it just, yeah, that pissed me off. I'm like, this is, are these good? are good people. These are people who work really hard, and they read a, a ton of horrible shit, so you don't have to. Ah, really ticked me off. Yeah. I'm fine. I'm and they fine. just curate I'm the fine. best out of it, because weeding through some of those threads, to to highlight out the best five or six tweets, you got to read a lot of fucking toxic shit. Oh, we read a, t- a ton of terrible things. We see a ton of terrible yeah. stuff. We see the worst. We really see the worst of Twitter, and we see the worst of both sides of Twitter, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, not to not to give you know free advertising to Twitchy, sorry guys, but I just they're like they're like my family, and so it's like you don't mess with my family. I got so I got pissed off, and then I ranted, and then I got a message from someone at work. What happened? <laughs> I was like, okay, <laughs> this is what happened. Blah! Well, you should write about that tomorrow. Well, I'm going to. <laughs> well, I'm going to talk about it tonight first. That too. I'm going to bitch about it for 24 hours because I'm really ticked off. No, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm really going to stew on it. I feel done. good? You get it off your chest? I, you feeling all right I, now? It's like therapy for me. Yeah, I feel way better. Yeah. See, I told you you'd f- start feeling better when you came back to doing the show. Oh, yeah. You did. Wait a minute. Yeah. Uh, really? No. Did you though? No, I'm fine. I'm fine now. I got it off my chest. I just wish people could focus on who the real opponent is and stop with all the bullshit and fighting. I mean, that's it. That's all I probably should have said and left it at that. But you know me. I get on a soapbox and I can't shut up. So there we go. But you can't. There we go. Yeah. There you go. I actually so, had a list and you completely took me out of my list. Well, no, you took yourself out of the list. I will no, bring you back to the list. You took me out because you said, well, I saw this bullshit. And I'm like, yeah. Oh. Bah, you know, so it's Yeah, your fault. damn it. Well, there okay, you go. fine. I got broad shoulders. <laughs> you got broad shoulders. You're on Oxycontin. What do you care? I am. Yeah. So the title right. of the show tonight is actually Cheap Fakes. <laughs> and um, let's talk about that. Cheap Fakes. Well, you got like two minutes to the end of the hour, the bottom of the hour. So do you think we have time to talk about Cheap Fakes? Hmm. Well, I mean, I mean no. Not probably not. Let's talk about Mount St. Helens then. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best fucking... That, but, you know, that is what Wendy's used to be. Is, is it like... Aren't they talking about that it's going to erupt? Yeah, well, yeah, but have you seen the tweets from the uh, the account? No, I have not. Oh, my God. They're so fun. It's like... I um was uh, What was one of them? It was like... Um, Okay, let me find one because it was really good. Oh, was it really and good? Have, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and the throw stones in Mount Rainier too. Just like, you know, I dare you. You won't, but I dare you. <laughs> and uh, let's see. Okay, so Mount St. Helens, ready to blow harder than your mom while it's quoting a Daily <laughs> Mail online. Topless and ready to oh, blow. Oh my god. That I'm is... back, bitches. Believe in yourself like a volcano who still has it after all these years. Wow. Uh let's see. So what you're so like... you're saying Oh then Renat Mount Rainier replying to him, look me in the eye and say that horseshoe face. <laughs> <laughs> uh thank you for reminding me that Twitter doesn't have to suck. You're a good okay, yeah, I, I have to go find this exchange. I don't know how I haven't found it yet, but that that's absolutely there, there's amazing. a uh, it's yeah, it's it's fucking fantastic. And, yeah. Uh, hey, you yeah, know, it's like you know, one of them, one of them, uh, press like for me not to erupt, uh, uh, RT to erupt them all. What if I quote tweet you? Do you really promise to do it? Because I kind of want that. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Okay, so that was the time for the two minutes. Go find the Mount St. Helens account. Yeah. And it is just, it's just been a gold mine today because it's doing a little rumbling. It's doing its thing after 43 years. Fucking make me feel old. Yes, it does. Burr, but everything, me... everything should make you feel old, you know, because you're old. Oh, <clears throat> this is the adjustments. 
Yeah. Well, okay. You know what? We probably should take a break now that I spent a half okay. hour bitching about Twitchy and Twitter. Okay. So we're going to take a break. Uh, thank you for being here with us on KLRN Radio and as well as our Twitter free. I see you out there, guys. Thank you for being here. Uh, we're going to take a couple minute break and we'll be right back. So stay put. I am a passenger. KLRN Radio has advertising rates available. We have rates to fit almost any budget. Contact us at advertising at klrnradio.com. I am Conor McGregor, multiple weight MMA champion. I'm a fighter and I've been through many battles in the octagon. Many consider my fights in the octagon heroic. But the real life heroes are those men and women who fight to protect us every day. The real life fighters, the real life heroes, are the firefighters and police officers. These first responders are true heroes because these brave men and women put themselves in the line of danger every single day protecting us all. The Tunnel to Towers Foundation ensures that first responders from fire, EMS and police departments who are killed in the line of duty with young children have a home without the burden of a mortgage. They are my heroes. They need our help today. I'd like to ask you to join me in donating $11 a month to support their efforts. Your $11 a month honors and supports our first responders. Please call now at 1-844-BRAVEST or visit tunneltotowers.org. Hi, I'm Mike, founder of DollarShaveClub.com. What is DollarShaveClub.com? Well, for a dollar a month, we send high-quality razors right to your door. Yeah, a dollar. Are the blades any good? No. Our blades are f***ing great. Each razor has stainless steel blades and aloe vera lubricating strip and a pivot head. It's so gentle a toddler could use it. And do you like spending $20 a month on brand name razors? 19 go to Roger Federer. I'm good at tennis. And do you think your razor needs a vibrating handle, a flashlight, a back scratcher, and ten blades? Your handsome ass grandfather had one blade and polio. Looking good, pop up! Stop paying for shave tech you don't need. And stop forgetting to buy your blades every month. Alejandro and I are gonna ship them right to you. We're not just selling razors. We're also making new jobs. Alejandro, what were you doing last month? Not working. What are you doing now? Working. I'm no Vanderbilt, but this train makes hay. So stop forgetting to buy your blades every month and start deciding where you're going to stack all those dollar bills I'm saving you. We are DollarShaveClub.com, and the party is on. I know karate. I know jiu-jitsu. I drive like a gang. So when I'm coming to see you, see you. The following program contains coarse language and adult themes. Listener discretion is advised. I am a passenger. And we're back from break. If you're on Twitter, you were with us while we were on break and got to hear everything we talked about. Lucky you. Yeah, it like, is well, some of us. Like, well, I was busy getting water not apple juice thank yeah. you very much notice how she put but the emphasis you know. on water that means it's in air quotes which means it's not actually water uh-huh. right yeah it is fubar behind the scenes or fubar after dark anyway we are back and thank you for staying with us through the break we love seeing you on twitter with us and thank you for being here what are you doing rick that was the fubar after dark music don't judge me <laughs> <laughs> I'm judging you. Can you tell that we are back? Thank you for being back with us as well. We were going to talk about cheap fakes, but then we had to take a break because, you know, that's how we roll. Uh, cheap right. fake. You're familiar with what cheap fake is, yeah? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Th- this, this is the uh, the new pound that narrative into me harder, daddy. Oh, my um, God. It's ridiculous. The, uh, that they're uh, working, that the 
the corporate media complex is working in their heroic defense of President Silver Silver Alert's rapid cognitive decline. Yeah, it's a mess. And it's interesting, the harder they work, the worse you know it is. And like even Brian Stelter was out today talking about, which was hilarious to see Tater out and about. But he was talking about the fact that they are privy to all these really long videos. So they know that Biden is really all together. It's the little snippets and edits that they're pushing on evil media for us dummies who don't see what's really happening behind the scenes. So apparently, when we're not looking, guys, Biden is really there and on point and not at all senile, crazy, or lost. That's, you know, that's what they're saying. (laughs) Well, my favorite one was CBS put out a tweet today, or a little video snippet of the actual videos that we don't see. And it was just total cleanup on aisle five shit. Right. Yeah. And what they did accidentally in it was they did put one of the uncut videos of president silver alert in total fucking vapor lock. Yeah. Then they had to delete it, recut the video and put in <laughs> the one that they wanted to show you. But you know, the so, ones that are, that make him look bad are the ones that are edited. You know, he's actually fine. They were trying to say when he was over for the G7 thing and he was wandering off doing nothing that he was talking to the other guy on the ground. But of course, the other guy on the ground is not looking up or anything. So we know he's not talking to him. It was just yeah. nuts. And so for Karine Jean Pierre to say that, you know, these are all cheap fakes, which I had never heard the phrase before, but cheap fakes. Oh, I'm sorry. You've been, you've been gone. She is dubbed as uh, Token <laughs> McCarp Muncher. Okay. That's that. that mm. No. Anyway, <laughs> she has decided. I mean, that, you, uh, you then, always go with my favorite nickname for her, which has become Sideshow Bob because of the hair. Mm. So they right, are right. basically trying at this point to get Americans to believe that we're crazy, that what we're seeing is somehow the media trying to make Biden look worse because, you know, the media is always on the, the Republican side and they are trying to make Biden look bad. And of course, we know this isn't true. We're watching it in real time. He froze up talking about amnesty for all things. I mean, this is his big thing. Look at me. I'm awesome. I'm going to give all these illegals, you know, they're going to be awesome and have a way here. And he locks up. But of course, the big one is with he's up there with Jimmy Kimmel and Obama, and he just kind of stands like he's a robot, and then they lead him off stage. And oh, no, no, Obama didn't lead him off stage. He was just walking with him. And oh, no, no, you're yeah. seeing something edited. But if you watch that 41 second clip, he freezes. There is oh, nothing he, edited yeah, about he's, that. He's totally vapor locked. He just he went into full sundowner. And, and um, it's bad. No, it's and. The, 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 it, okay, so who was it? Somebody on Twitter was it? Um, oh, Lawrence O'Donnell, fucking that. Yeah, Larry. When, yeah. When, when, yeah, when, fucking Larry. When he's like, Larry. oh, you know, you pre- Franklin Delano Roosevelt won World War Two from a wheelchair. As <laughs> well, one he died before World War Two was five months before it ended. Yeah, five yeah. months before World War Two ended, and yeah. also the press went through extraordinarily lengths to hide the fact that yep. Roosevelt was in a wheelchair. They did. They absolutely did. Because they, they knew he couldn't be reelected. That There was a likelihood that America would not reelect a president in a wheelchair because there would be the stigma of lack of strength, especially right. in wartime. Well, and he's so that's, weak. Yeah, we don't want to yeah. appear weak. But apparently appearing weak is A-OK now because it's Biden. Yeah. And it's just, you know, and he's so awful. He he really is not a nice man. Um, and one the, the attributes are coming out more because he's not able to hide it and pretend he's joking. He's just mean. Um, it, it's just time, I think. And the bad thing is, part of me is like, they need to take him out of this because it's cruel at this point. He's not there. They can only pump him full of so many drugs. They did drop a drug list for him at one point, but it was like Pepsi and some other drug that you take when you've had COVID to keep you from dying or something. And there was like a high cholesterol med. Of course, the fun stuff wasn't listed, you know, whatever they're pumping him full yeah, of to keep him awake. And barbiturates and, and peanut butter. Adderall or whatever. And, but no, that wasn't listed. But they did put out this list of it various. It's more Adderall than an entire high school. In the, mm. Yeah. So they did this list. But um, whatever they're shooting him up with at this point, it can be good for him. 
Um, and I don't, you know, some people don't believe, they think they have actors for Biden. I just think it's Biden via multiple procedures to keep him from looking like he's 100 years old. Um, he's rubbery and shiny and bizarre, and he's got a hole in his chin. And he's just, they put those really, plugs in too deep. He's really just a mess. So the, the kind part of me, there is part of me that is kind, thinks they really should just retire him. He should be hanging out with the granddaughter he doesn't want to acknowledge. And, and right. at this point, he's not really fit. But then you get Kamala or you get whoever they want to bring in and replace him with. And I, of course, am very curious what you think or who you think they might replace him with. I absolutely love the conundrum they have put themselves in because when they went with the diversity hire, heels up. Um, now they, they're stuck with her because if they 25th him or if they retire him, then what are they going to do? Are they going to say that, no, we cannot have a black woman as the next president because she is hilariously ill-equipped for the position. Right. So, I mean, if they bring in anyone, they're going to bring in like Newsom. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, white guy, rich white guy. I've read a couple things that say that Kamala wants to be governor of California. So wouldn't that be a nice switch up? Hey, we're going to let you have California and we're going to bring Gavin in. But how do you do that? Again, to your point, without looking like, well, we brought in the rich white guy to represent Democrats. We got rid of the, you know, the, what is she? Indian. (laughs) She's Jamaican and uh, Indian. Indian, Yeah. Yeah. We're going to get rid of her, the woman of color and bring in the rich white guy from California. Well, and here's the thing with that plan. She wants to be governor of California, but I can tell you as a Californian, she is universally hated by everybody, even the left in this well, state. We saw that. Every because... position she has ever had, she has yeah. been nominated into. We saw or that because into. she couldn't even win her own state in the primary. We saw that right. when she tried to run for president. We know she's not liked, but that, that was one thing I saw being tossed around was that they would somehow give her California in exchange for bowing out gracefully to allow Newsom in. I saw someone else talking about Hillary Clinton taking over for Biden, which would, okay, bring it on. That'd be a lot of fun, actually. Um, She was at the Tonys the other night, and she somehow has gotten younger. You hear corgis in the background. Sorry, my son just got home. And they're guarding me from my son. Um, <laughs> that's Casper and Trixie in what the background. What the fuck is your home life like? No. You don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I saw someone bringing up Hillary talking about how she was trying to get her claws in there and they might, you know, switch her out. Um, all kinds of things. So she can lose to Trump again? You know, hey, if that's what she wants to do, I, I fully support that. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm totally down with it. I mean, you know, please have have a second absolutely humiliating. Yeah. I mean, th- that as much as they tried to demonize Trump, and they did a really fucking good job of it in 2016. Yeah. He still beat her. Oh, yeah. And you know, do you think that she has refined with age? She is not really, I mean, she's hated by everybody now, too. Yeah, she is. She really is unpopular, even with people on the left and in the Democratic Party, because she is, you know, she lost to who they see as probably the most unpopular GOP con- uh, in modern history. So I absolutely see More. that. But um, I've seen her and, of course, Michelle Obama, which is the only one who really scares me. Um, I, I think Michelle she, doesn't want it, though. She's flatly said she doesn't I, she want has, it. They, they, but I saw her they're, name. They're the pop, you know, I they're saw the, her in the a poll. They're not the puppets. I get it, but I saw her name in a poll today. Mm-hmm. And that freaked me out because I think out of all of them, if they want to run someone else, Michelle is going to win. And it's not that she's the best equipped. It's not that she's qualified. It's because she will appeal to that entire party in some way or form. And plus, it's oh, it's another Obama in the White House. Thank God, you know. And it's no, he's the first man or whatever. And I I just see that their whole shtick was that they weren't the legacies. They weren't the Clintons or the Bushes. Yeah, they don't. Their whole shtick is whatever gets them elected or paid. That's the reality of who they are. And I know Michelle has talked about not wanting anything to do with the White House, but she is the one I worry the most about. Which. Maybe, I, you know, it's like, yeah, she is, she's awful, but absolutely somebody the left would go, oh, hell yeah, we're going to do right. this. She would rally the troops. She really would. 
Gavin, eh, maybe not. Uh, Hillary, definitely he, not. He but was I, well about DeSantis, but he actually destroyed mm. much of Newsom's chances of DeSantis ever being president. DeSantis has been fantastic. When he, once he yeah. decided it was over, even though Trump was terrible to him, and he was, he was terrible. DeSantis oh, yeah. was the bigger man. He was the leader. He said, I'm going to help you get elected, Trump, even though you did all this shit. DeSantis has nothing to do with the people who support him. They're mad at DeSantis because he hasn't said anything about John McGuire. I saw that today. Well, that's a big old L for DeSantis. Well, then who the hell do you like at this point? DeSantis gets it because he realizes that even if Trump is not, I don't know, I don't want to say something mean, but if he's not exactly who we want, he understands it's who we have. And that he understands that we have to take out Biden. And even if he doesn't like Trump, and I wouldn't blame the guy for not liking him because it was not pleasant, DeSantis has decided he's going to put all that aside and do what's right for country. And, you know, Cruz did that too. So that's they do. And, and I you know that 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 sting of pride only lasts a little while, and then you can get uh, business done again. So. Yeah, and Cruz has done great. He is still Ted Cruz, and he still is out there making noise and doing what he needs to do for his folks. Sure. And they still hate his ass because he gets things done, um, and he's Texas, so, you know, of course. But DeSantis did what he should do, and so he won me over again, all over again. I mean, I always have said I would have liked someone different. I would have liked someone younger with not as much baggage, you know, and DeSantis was great. He was probably my first choice. But that's not how it worked out. And DeSantis once again proved me I was right when he said, well, we're going to make sure Trump wins. Done. Sure. I know. Yeah. So that would be amazing. My, Of course, I want DeSantis as Trump's VP pick. And this is a nice segue because I have this listed as well. Because they said he's picked the VP at this point is what I read. Right. Um, they haven't announced it. But they've got like Burgum and Elise Stefanik and, of course, Ben Carson and Tim Scott and J.D. Vance. And – um DeSantis Tulsi. wasn't on the list. And Tulsi, I didn't see Tulsi on the list anymore. I t- Okay, t- Tulsi's the uh, Twitter favorite. Yeah, I which, get I mean, it, okay. I, 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 There is very, very little that I agree with Tulsi about. And Tulsi has really pissed off a lot of her left base, too, by being a rational person. You know, it's like that meme that Elon Musk put out a while ago, is that the left keeps moving left, so even the people who were on the left yeah. are now centrist kind of thing. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I don't agree with her politically on a lot of things, but God damn, is Moana hot. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I knew that. I feel like I'm looking at Jesse Keller talking about Kamala Harris. You know, right. ah, she's so hot. You know, he thinks she's so hot. I'm like, dude, shut up. No. Uh, Tulsi's fine. You know, I like some of her, her stances on things. I like when she made oh, Kamala Harris she cry, fine. basically. Oh, wait, sorry. Yeah, so we get it, guys. She's fine. Um, I like her. But I'm not sure that she's going to bring anybody to the ticket. I mean, she might. The guys who think she's hot, I don't know. I did not see her listed. And then Sarah Huckabee Sanders is also listed, who I think is great. Um, she's doing is, great as gov. She's a great governor. She uh, was a great speaker. Um, she was a great press secretary. She is just uh, – I, I, I think I'm biased because she was, like, the first one I really covered when I was started working. And she would just make them cry. You know, she was right. – vicious and heartless and amazing and they would just pick on how she looked all the time because that was the only way they knew how to take her out oh she's a pig Mm -hmm. she's so ugly well then she's winning because you guys have nothing else you can say about her i think she'd be amazing you know and mike huckabee he he was actually good so she comes from good stock she's not like fucking mccain's daughter you know, you know, I feel sorry for Megan because, you know, I, I, I know a lot of people don't. She hated me for a long time because her father didn't like me. I get it. Whatever. Um, but losing a father, losing your losing a parent and then having all the politics around it. I just can't imagine even being part of that. I know I'm being soft. You know, forgive me. But Stop I, I feel I feel sorry for her in a way because I think it's a terrible position to be in. And I do not I do not envy her that. Um, but no, I think Sarah Huckabee I, would be great. I think that Elise would be fine. It's just an interesting J.D. Vance, who I've never really taken seriously, but I've been looking through his feed lately. Um, He's very, you know, he's very, I think he's compatible. You know, I think he makes sense. And, you know, don't don't count out Bergmentum. 
I love Doug. I think he's great. Bergham, I he think is, he's yeah, He is really good. You know, he he, he did really great. well in the debates. A lot is, better than I thought. Oh he my was. god, he is so he's very he's almost stoic, but it's like yeah. I don't know. He's like a diplomat, you know. He's very and he's got great eyebrows. I love his eyebrows. Well, when he wants to cut it up, he cuts it up. He, he's fun too. <laughs> he's fun, you know. I just yeah. he feels like the West. I mean, I like him. I think he'd be great. Small but, sidebar. I mean, I know, small sidebar. Stacy absolutely hates his eyebrows. I was picking on her last week about those. Uh, <laughs> well, I like them. I think they're great, and I think it's interesting. Uh, my only fear, tap? my only, my only fear with Bergam is it might be a Pence thing again. You know, like they wanted Pence to kind of balance out Trump because Trump is this, you know, larger than life carnival act, and Pence is very, you know, down here and more to grounded. So maybe I never Bergam liked Pence. I mean, just that race bandon looking motherfucker just. <laughs> Pence was really not my choice. I wasn't thrilled with Pence. He was kind of, you know, I don't know, like bad. Like, can you go to a dollar store and you buy cheap paper plates? That's Pence, you know? Uh, yeah. Just nothing there. So dull. Wasn't for me. But Bergam's at least entertaining and he's interesting and he has some ideas that aren't terrible and he doesn't, you know, get all holier than thou. And we don't need sure. any of that. We got plenty of holier than thou out there already. We need, yeah. we need somebody who can get in there. And see, I know. I'll get the whole DeSantis can't be his VP because they're both in Florida. Yeah, I know all this shit. Thank you very much. But DeSantis have been a great balance because DeSantis would bring in that conservative side that, I mean, Trump is really a populist. He's really not a conservative. It's a good balance. Um, sure. But that's not going to happen. I, I just, I can't see it happening. It'd be awesome if it did. I would be like, rah, rah, the happiest girl ever. But it's not going to happen. So, you know what? We'll work with what we have because that's what we do. And we have to win the election. So. That's all there is to that. Because it's but the I, most important election of your life. But they say that all the fucking time, which drives me crazy. Right. But this one really does feel like that. Well, okay, and I know so, it's silly. I mean, the only – okay, so really the weaponization of government against the citizens yeah. is really where – that's where I start paying attention to it. Because really it's always just been a fucking cheap suit. We knew the the unelected fourth branch of the bureaucracy has always been the one who's called the shots. But now that there's no reins on that, yeah, you know, usually you would have an executive who wasn't completely fucking retarded. Go, sorry, I know you hate that word. Going, um, <laughs> going. Just... You know what, guys? How about if you not? But yeah. when you've got the FBI showing up at a whistleblower's house, yeah, I saw that to oh, intimidate so... them about, it's... and then when you got oh. the other one who's facing jail, yeah. I mean, there used to be this thing called whistleblower protection. But yeah. apparently there's an asterisk and a parenthetical about that that says not when it goes against the narrative. Or not when it goes against a Republican. Right. Like, you know, you have Vinman, who's – I think he's his twin brother, won the the primary here in Virginia and VA7. So we have a Vinman running in the state, which is just, yeah. you know, makes you want to throw up. But, you know, he's a hero. His brother, his brother and uh, his wife both blocked me because I said she looked like she dropped common loot. <laughs> She gets really fuzzy fast. Rachel, um, just yeah. tell her that she, the only reason she's famous is because of who she's married to. She gets really pissed off. Um, yeah. But he won. But, it, but it, you know, his brother is this hero because of he was a whistleblower and he overheard a phone call supposedly. And that somehow that's cool. But, you know, it's OK because it was against Trump. But anything else, right. is, you know, they're going to try and intimidate. It's the whole it's different when they do it with the yeah. capital DD. You know? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, a doctor and a nurse have both um, outed uh, Children's Hospital in Texas for yep. one of them for continuing to do um, uh, pubescent um, transgender surgery. And the nurse re most recently for reporting that they are illegally billing Medicaid for these procedures. Oh, yeah, I saw that. So, that's that's yeah. crazy. But, you know, they're trying to keep them quiet. Yeah, you're intimidating with the F sending the FBI to the door. Well, I'm sorry. I hate to say it, but I'm not surprised at yeah. any of this. You know, that gal, and I can't remember her name, the elderly lady who's going to do two years because she prayed at an abortion clinic. Um, she's going to jail for two years for that. You know, mm. she's going to jail, but the asshole setting things on fire and colleges are, you know, they're okay. Yeah. Yeah. I got, you know, it's just, and these are the things that drive me nuts. How are we arguing on one side when all this other shit is going on? It's obvious that things are broken. It's obvious we should be working together. Knock it off, you know, get together. Let's fix it. Let's do what we can and make it better. I'm like crazy. Maybe. I don't know. 
But I mean, there's oh. so many things that are wrong. How are we still not focusing on getting that fixed and doing something different? I don't understand it. Uh, cause I think everybody's just waiting for the shooting to start. <laughs> it feels like that in the, I keep saying, well, we're not going to vote ourselves out of this one. Well, oh my God, then we're really in trouble. How do we All fix right. it then? And you know me, I'm a fixer. I got to fix things. I got to find a way to get around it. I got to find a way to make it better. And that's just my nature. Hell, and you text me when I'm in the hospital, but you don't text me on don't my birthday. Tell anybody <laughs> that I was worried about you because that will totally blow okay. my image. That totally, I totally soft. didn't happen. Made it I up. I would never have cared about you because that is not how I am. <clears throat> Mom told you to, didn't she? Yeah, she forced me. She said, yeah. you better text him and make sure he's okay. No, okay, fine. Every once in a while, I'm nice and I care. It doesn't happen very often. Um, but no, I just, I, I guess maybe that's just why I'm so frustrated is I see all this terrible and I'm like, how do you not see this? How are we still fighting about the primary that's over? And why aren't we talking about, holy shit, we got to stop all this, you know? And hmm. maybe, maybe I'm just, you know, fussy and things are better than I realize. And I'll wake up tomorrow morning and not be nearly as, you know, dramatic. Well, you've had a day. I've had a day. And it was my day off, damn it. I'm not even off. supposed to be here today. I'm not even supposed to be here. I totally felt like that all day today. I'm like, why the hell am I online? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm going to go do something else. But then it ends up being, I'm doing college stuff with my kid. And that freaks me out more. So I was going to say. Well, one kid was out driving, the other one you're doing college shit with. Oh, so, my God. You know. It's so crazy. My son's like, you know, I drove by myself, and it was like the most freedom thing ever. And I'm like, oh, my God, it's over. Because <laughs> he's, like, driving in the neighborhood all by himself. He's like, oh, I do this all the time, man. This is no big deal. He's got classic vinyl on the radio. He's chilling. And then he, like, leaves our neighborhood. And he's like, holy shit, I'm really free. And I was like, oh, he's figured it out. He's out in the neighborhood. All of a sudden, it's octane and then hammered <laughs> down on the 95. He's driving my big Yukon. He's got all these horses at his, you know, and he's, oh my God. Yeah, it's crazy. And then, yeah, I'm doing the stuff with college for my daughter. And mom, what is this for him? I have no idea. I mean, this is, yeah, fun. So I guess it was better to argue with dumb people on Twitter than deal with reality today. Well, there you go. There you go. Thank you for bringing Sometimes you have to. And because Thank I you. don't exactly know when I'm going to be released to go back to work, you can be seeing a lot more of me on Twitter. Yeah, I appreciate you giving me perspective. I can always count on you. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> That and the Oxycontin. Woohoo. That awesome. and the Oxycontin. Yeah, Fuck yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. How are you feeling? Are you still doing okay? Are you seeing No, I'm feeling you know what? I if I did accidentally take two, then I'm feeling fucking great. Awesome. Well maybe you know better than yeah. the doctor. You never know. You never well know. yeah. You know, I, I'm definitely gonna be able to rally for the next show, so that's cool. Are you on again? Yeah, I'm run right on after this with uh Rick. We're doing Rick and Orty. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah. yeah. Cause we're about done. We are. You know, we're right at the point it's like, so Samantha, where can you find <laughs> I'm not ready for that yet. I think we should remind people okay, that it's on. going to be a little bit. I'm so glad you guys found us on Twitter. I mean, the Kaler insight is great. You can go over and chat and make fun of dumb people. It's awesome. But I love seeing yeah, all of you. Yeah, let some sick AI uh, generated content in the chat. It's fun. Yeah, but, you know, be careful because some of that. Anyway, uh, really glad you guys are here with us on Twitter. It's fun seeing you. I've enjoyed looking at your comments and seeing you in the chat with us here on Twitter as yeah. well. You're all maniacs, and we love you. Um. On that note, since I am going to be in Wyoming next week for my father-in-law's memorial, the following week is my I've already got. I've already, had, I've already got your replacement. So I'm going to be gone for a month. Um, I won't be back doing this show live until I think it's like July 17th or something. I apologize yeah. for that. I know I came back for two shows and I'm gone, but that's just life. Uh, but Ordy's going to be on the air with who are you bringing in to replace me? I got I got uh, Jen Holmstead. Oh, I love Jen. Awesome. So. The food bar I'm gone when I'm gone will be awesome. You guys will want to tune in for that. Um, but I guess yeah, now we can do the hey Ordy, where can people find you? Well, thank you for asking me, Samantha. You can find me on um X Twitter. I know I refuse to call it X. You can find <laughs> me on Twitter as uh Ordnance Packard, as if y'all didn't already know that. And this is the longest I've kept an account there. Thank you, Saint Elon of Tesla. Um, you can find me uh right after this show with uh our producer Rick on Rick and Orty. You can find me this Saturday on juxtaposition. Rick, myself, Mickey Blowtorch, John Katz, and Sonar Jeff are going to be doing a round table on, are we in a simulation? Um, then you can find me next week, maybe on uh Rancor Steve's rumble channel and um, culture shift you, with uh, Brad Slager on how Thursday. Do you keep up with all this stuff. Uh, drugs. Oh, good. That works. <laughs> you, you forgot. <laughs> How about you, Sam? Where can people find you? 
gosh. Uh, people can find me on X. That sounds really dirty. You can find me on X at uh, Politibunny. Yeah. That's P-O-L-I-T-I-B-U-N-N-Y at twitchy.com. And, of course, here in a month with this dork who's I on OxyContin and our lovely producer, Rick. Uh, thank you guys so much for being with us live tonight. We really do appreciate you listening. You are why we are here, not the whiners who hate us. Uh, so. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will be back in a month to talk with you all again. In the meantime, make sure you tune in in a couple weeks to hear Ordy and Jen. It'll be fantastic. And, of course, after this show, they have Rick and Ordy coming up live as well. Uh, thank you for being here tonight, and have a great night. And I will talk to you all in a month. And until then, keep your sense of humor and stay out of jail. Hail Hydra. <laughs>